utility. Um, and oh, it's Jarvan Top. Oh, there we okay, go. That's so, the Mowgli I know and love. <laughs> there we go. We anticipated it could have been a flex oh, just yet. You can see that's because Cabochon had already left lane. Yeah, didn't have the prior. Hold up. Bart lane. A lot of damage onto Attila. He's gone very low. That's picking a fight with Zion Rakan. Jack Troll is locked low. He's got flash available to him. Flap can't even use it. No scaring. Cuts him off. While that's going on, Pizzachachi's being run down. No. Manages to escape a few seconds longer. Cabo and Mowgli dashing forward. Flash over the wall. Do they chase? The answer's no. One for one. What uh, version of no scaring you're going to get? He's been tagged, though. Yeah, exactly. There's a little bit of variance. He's going to be able to find the knockup onto Attila. Carby and Zerse moving forward. That's a two-man route. They get hit with the meat. Mowgli is running for his life, but he Destroyed. can't get away. That's another to splice and a double. No scaring. 2 0 And they're getting more for the trades that we're making cross map. It's like tower plates to Cabo. Looking for Jazuke. Jazuke's playing bait. They may have just worked. That manages to work. The Emperor's Divide, though. Catches Mowgli under the tower. It's a trade. One for uh, Disaster bot lane for Vitality when you didn't have access to flashes by Jack Troll and Attila. Yes, now the summoners are back up, but Mowgli looks at that to hard shove this lane and hard force this tower. Yeah, that's absolutely the case. Cabochon looking for a solo kill here. Got a lot of damage. Um, Flash is available. Chachi's going to get hit. tried up. to have the Kaisa Nautilus. Things went very wrong uh, when Mowgli got involved with that lane. The flashes came out, and then they lost all power and control there, and it slowly bled over to um, Splice having complete control over bot side river because they always have priority there. They now have complete priority over the mid lane. Oh man, this is going to be just another tower falling. Vitality have yet to secure an objective until this very moment. Cabo's not even going to get the tower yet until this next minion line congers its way in. So three to one will be the score. Admittedly, the bottom outer turret is just a hair's breadth away from falling over. Now Vitality moving away into the jungle. Full pressure, full control, uh, and priority over this jungle. They've moved in, they've placed down the wards. So even though Vitality are in a better position to fight now, they're still in the back foot in terms of the map setup because Splice have full vision control over top side. And please look at the mini map. An uncontested Drake. Oh my word, no scaring. He's coming from behind. Now he can't find Mowgli just yet. Mowgli's going to use the kick to send him away. Jatchel looks for the engage, but Vitality are trying to flank. No scaring goes gold to buy some time. Mountain Drake is up. It's low. It's secured by Splice. But now everybody's going gold. And is trying to kick them out with the slicing maelstrom. They managed to get a kill onto Jatchel and Cabo's going so, so low. That's a shutdown into No scaring. Everybody from Splice is in trouble, and Humanoid cannot save the day. Vitality win the fight. Wizardly for Vitality. And this will be a discussion that will be debated for a long, long time. Baron is secured. Lead of 1,600. They have Baron buff on their squad. They've picked up their third tower, continuing to scale up. Vitality have just got all the tools to play with. Take a look at that. Cabo just goes all the way in with that Cataclysm and nearly, nearly solo kills Humanoids. While that's happening though, Vitality making use of a lot of uh, pressure. Used to get the advantage. Now, they've still got to get over the final hurdle. They still need to get through Azia, Zaya, Rakan, and Noskaren once again unable to find a target. Oh, I take that back. It's a trade. One support for support. Chachi's Chachi. coming in with the slicing maelstrom, but those are two very speedy targets to chase down. Jazuke is able to send Humanoid flying, but for the time being, Splice have defended the Nexus turret bottom lane. But Splice expended so much to not get anything there. If Jazuke is actually able to get to safety, look at mid lane tower. It goes down, Vitality disengaging, absorbing all of these resources that Splice have thrown on them and then punishing. The voice in my head is back and this might be the third game in a row where a team with a lower standing in the league is able to take down somebody higher up the table. 5,000 Vitality are in base and then it's a very easy call for the other team to just go nice. kill him with four members and not lose anything return. Baron, so it feels Vitality, like the Baron dance is deep and Cabo is looking for a flank. And one of the issues that they have is they don't have the TP on Chachi so it's really hard for this Kinnon to get oh, in but there's one. What was that? Noskaren and Visa Chachi, the two players that tend to get caught. From Vitality to choke Splice out of this area to get all of the waves pushing, layer their vision and then just wait for the mistake. Oh man. Oh, this is gonna. Oh, I feel so bad right now. Okay, so Jack Troll gets jumped on. Vitality, yeah, get a little surprised by this. They didn't start the initiation, but Humanoid. Oh, he just gets body bopped by Jazuke. He gets blown up. And it's a double kill for Cabo. 4 0 5. Carby is running for his life. 
Yeah, he and Chachi are the last one standing. They've got a lot of damage to put down, and that's a shutdown on Jazuke. But here comes Attila. The members already... push the health bars, and they've got the wave crashing behind them. So Vitality still get what they came for, even though Chachi tried to make the hero play. Man, Vitality get a little bit surprised, but they are so far ahead, it is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. 30 minutes isn't even on the clock yet. And Vitality are now taking down the middle lane inhibitor. Two huge question marks this game. The Dragon fights around 20 odd minutes, and then that Baron engage. Now Chachi, he used his ultimate a moment ago, so we can't use it again. So this is going to flash forward and land the T-Bone Stake. Attila is going to be able to flash away. Won't be able to chase any further. Despite Zersei hitting Q after Q, there's just not enough damage, not enough chase. And just ultimate them away. And at, at this point, because the Drake has now been taken, the end of the just... game, and I just want to give a very quick shout out to uh, Rivington Bruce Bislin the third. Uh, whenever anybody plays this Olaf skin, I literally hear his voice in my head yelling, hit him with the meat. It's actually why I used that call earlier. And while I'm saying all that stuff, Jazuke will get taken down by the meat. Zerse throws out the undertow. But look at the re-engage. Cover shot comes down. The flag, the drag. The cataclysm comes up, but there's no follow-up just yet. Humorick stays alive for a few seconds longer. Slides forward, divides backwards. All of a sudden, Chachi, the slicing maelstrom, is easily dodged away from. The storm is simply not powerful enough to stop vitality. Dredge line falls ever so slow. access to Baron. Okay, infinite. So the infernal Drake and Mountain Drake is on Baron. It's just being melted and shredded. It's already you are the third Baron of the game. But Visit Chachi, he's in so much trouble. Hourglass is available to him. Teleport completes for Cabo. He throws down the Cataclysm. He's being melted. Humanoid manages to get over the wall. It's all of a sudden. Cabo, that goes down. It's traded one for one as Zerse was the target. Now Attila is being jumped on here as Noscar is trying to buy time. Here comes Kobe. That's a shutdown onto Attila. But Jazuke has got so much Look damage. Mowgli. He hits Kobe in the face with a big one. The super minions are pushing onto the next of turrets. Mowgli's got no ult available to him. Jazuke, two more rockets. Mowgli, the Slice and Dice, or the Divide, rather. He's blown up! He's shut down! Kobe gets another kill. Kobe's pushing forward. He doesn't... That's have... fine. Hold oh, on. man. Look at the mini-map. Teleport in. Attila's going in for the base. Cabo shots around him. He's going to have Wait, a Slice and Dice. This is an Elder Dragon picked up. Splice are even more scary. Okay, Attila versus Chachi and Jazuke. Jazuke! Oh, that's not going to be that just yet. Visit Chachi! How did you stay alive? Kobe teleports into the base. Now, Jazuke and the Supers plus Baron empowered. He's looking for the Nexus. A couple more... He's just gonna do it. Do He's it. got a flash. Unbelievable. I, I mean, Yamada can think it. Kobe and Noscaren, they're gonna get the GA from Mowgli. Is there any other support? Cabo's running. Now, 28 seconds until Elder is up. Kobe goes. So they're just gonna commit. They're inside. No vision here, but Splice are aware. Look at the positioning. Humanoids at least going to check. They absolutely know. There's the on the way ping. Do they get there in time? I don't think so. There's so much damage. It's already secured. Now that's the Attila. He's gonna try hold on. Force to flash. That could be important, but Baron's picked up. Oh, what is going on? Why? Why? There was no vision. You walked into the darkness. Your professional players, they tried to sneak in and it didn't work. Now all of a sudden, Zerse with the Ragnarok is running down Mowgli. There's another kill in favor of Splice. All of a sudden, Mowgli is running. I cannot believe that the game a winning moment after sneaking Baron is to walk into the darkness and just get killed by a hamster. Can I get the pip on y uh, Yamato now? Unbelievable. Now, all of a sudden, Splice are chasing it down at the base. Baron is all for naught. Norskirin is toying it's, with his food. It's TP on Humanoid. They're going to go for the end. Yeah, they absolutely are. The base is being destroyed. Zerse, Kabi, Visit Chachi, ushering the minions forward. Ten seconds left for Jazuke. He will spawn in time to see his Nexus die. Chachi is chasing down Mowgli. The tower is now being focused, and it is being obliterated. Splice won the early game. Splice lost the mid game, but Splice win it in the end.